Do you ever feel like the chaos of modern life is overwhelming, leaving you stressed, exhausted, and disconnected from what truly matters? In the whirlwind of constant notifications, endless tasks, and relentless pressure, it can seem impossible to find a moment of peace. But what if I told you that nearly 2,000 years ago, a Roman emperor named Marcus Aurelius faced similar struggles and found profound wisdom in the stillness of the evening. This video is going to reveal the powerful evening routine of Marcus Aurelius, a practice rooted in Stoicism that can transform your nights into a sanctuary of calm and clarity. By the end, you'll have seven actionable steps to reclaim your evenings and reconnect with your inner peace, no matter how hectic your day has been. Let's dive into the timeless wisdom of one of history's greatest thinkers and discover how his evening rituals can help you find balance in today's chaotic world. If you appreciate what we're doing here, a simple favor I'll ask is to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Your support helps us bring more valuable content to you. Marcus Aurelius said, It is in your power to retire into yourself whenever you choose. Imagine, even 2,000 years ago, amidst the responsibilities of being an emperor, he found the need to disconnect from the world around him. He recognized that true peace and clarity come from within, not from external sources. This wisdom is more relevant today than ever. Our modern lives are bombarded with constant external stimuli from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep. Notifications pinging, emails piling up, social media feeds refreshing endlessly, it's no wonder we feel overwhelmed and disconnected. Stoicism teaches us the value of looking inward and finding stillness. Marcus Aurelius used his evenings to step back from the noise and find a retreat within his own mind. He would cleanse himself of the day's stress and negative feelings by disconnecting from external distractions. This practice allowed him to renew his spirit and face his challenges with a clear mind. External stimuli are those changes outside our bodies or the information passed to us through our senses. In today's world, these stimuli are omnipresent, especially with our constant engagement with technology and the demands of modern society. Think about it. Our days are packed with tasks, meetings, emails, and deadlines. Even if we strive for a work-life balance, we often end up feeling exhausted and stressed by the time we get home. Our evening routines tend to involve catching up on social media, watching TV, or answering last-minute emails. While these activities might feel like a break, they aren't helping us achieve true relaxation or stillness. Instead, they add to the noise and clutter in our minds. To truly benefit from our evenings, we need to cut down on these external stimuli and declutter our brains. Your evening routine should be a time you spend with yourself free from distractions. This might mean eliminating many of the nighttime activities you've grown accustomed to and replacing them with new ones that help you disconnect and focus inward. For instance, put your technology to bed at least half an hour before you go to sleep. Instead of scrolling through your phone, try seeking stillness through simple practices like a five-minute guided meditation, body scan, or breathing exercise. Mindfulness meditations are incredibly effective in slowing down an overactive mind and helping you tune into your physical body. This type of meditation can serve as a retreat within ourselves, providing a peaceful sanctuary from the day's chaos. The benefits of incorporating this into your evening routine are profound. Meditation is known to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and significantly enhance sleep quality. Your bedtime routine should be a vacation from the busy world and a retreat into your peaceful self. While activities like binge-watching shows, playing video games, catching up with friends, or scrolling through social media may feel like personal breaks, they are actually distractions that prevent us from finding stillness. Sleep, although important, is often not enough to restore us after a busy day. The ultimate relaxing evening routine needs something that allows your mind to truly switch off. By eliminating external stimuli and embracing practices that promote inner peace, you can transform your evenings into a time of renewal and clarity. 
just as Marcus Aurelius did. Marcus Aurelius tells us, it is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. Even though he lived nearly 2,000 years ago, Marcus understood the profound connection between a healthy body and a healthy mind. The Stoics believed that physical exercise was not just about maintaining health, but also about cultivating virtues like perseverance, self-improvement, discipline, and self-confidence. These are life skills that go beyond the physical benefits and help shape our character and resilience. In today's world, we often overlook the importance of physical exercise, especially in our evening routines. We come up with all sorts of excuses to skip our workouts. I'm too tired. I have a big meeting tomorrow and don't want to be sore. Or I'm so stressed at work I can't even think about exercising. But these are just excuses. And deep down, we know that regular exercise brings too many amazing benefits to ignore. Any form of physical activity, whether it's a sport, a gym session, or even a simple walk, can work wonders for our body and mind. When we exercise, our brains release endorphins, the feel-good chemicals that help reduce stress and boost our mood. If you can fit a workout into your evenings, it can even help you fall asleep faster and wake up feeling more refreshed and ready to tackle the next day. The Stoics believed that exercise was a way to train not just the body, but also the mind. By engaging in regular physical activity, we learn to push through discomfort, set and achieve goals, and build a sense of discipline and self-mastery. These are qualities that Marcus Aurelius and other Stoics valued deeply. They understood that exercising for the sake of external approval, like trying to get a beach-ready body to impress others, rarely leads to true happiness. Instead, they focused on the internal benefits of exercise, the strength, resilience, and clarity it brings to our lives. One of the simplest yet most effective forms of exercise you can incorporate into your evening routine is walking. A quick mind-cleansing evening walk can do wonders. As you walk, take notice of the air and the environment around you. Let your mind shift from the ruminating thoughts of the day to observing the night sky above you. By gently moving your body and taking in the beauty of nature, you can clear your head from the busy day and prepare for a restful night's sleep. Remember, the goal of exercise, according to Stoicism, is to lead a better life in accordance with nature. This means keeping our bodies ready for when we need them and maintaining them in good working condition. Exercise helps us stay physically fit, but more importantly, it keeps us mentally strong and prepared to face life's challenges. Incorporating physical exercise into your evening routine doesn't have to be complicated or time-consuming. Even small changes like stretching, yoga, or a short jog can make a significant difference. The key is consistency and making it a regular part of your life. When you embrace physical exercise as a form of self-care and personal growth, you begin to see it not as a chore, but as a valuable investment in your overall well-being. So, next time you feel tempted to skip your workout, remember, Marcus Aurelius, and the stoic belief in the power of physical exercise. Think about the beauty and strength your body is capable of and how exercising can help you cultivate virtues that enrich your life. By prioritizing physical activity, you're not only taking care of your body, but also nurturing your mind and spirit, just as the Stoics did. Marcus Aurelius once said, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. This profound insight highlights the importance of reflection in our daily lives, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that the two best times for reflection were in the morning and evening. Morning reflections prepare you for the day ahead, while evening reflections allow you to review the day that has passed. By regularly examining your actions and thoughts, you can achieve greater clarity and self-awareness. Reviewing your day each evening can be a transformative practice. Marcus Aurelius wrote his meditations with the intention of reflecting on his own daily life and thoughts, seeking personal clarity and improvement. He kept a constant eye on his actions and choices, 
always striving to align them with his higher values. This practice of self-examination is a form of mindfulness that brings awareness to how we live our lives. The Stoics called this type of mindfulness attention, which is meant to bring self-awareness to your actions and whether they align with your higher self. Some Stoics compare daily self-reflection to pleading your case to a court. You recall and judge your day by taking the time to systematically review your actions and choices. This isn't meant to be a judgmental or harsh practice, but rather a compassionate and honest look at how you lived your day. It's about learning and growing, not punishing yourself for mistakes. To incorporate this practice into your evening routine, set aside some quiet time before bed. Think back over your day from the moment you woke up to the present moment. Go through each significant event and interaction. Ask yourself questions like, what did I do well today? What emotions did I experience? What parts of my day brought discomfort or stress? How can I learn from these experiences? What did I not accomplish that I wish I had? Reflecting on your day helps you become more mindful of your actions and their impact. For example, you might recall an unpleasant interaction you had, such as a miscommunication at work. By reflecting on this event, you can identify how it made you feel and how it affected your mood throughout the day. You can then think about how you might handle similar situations differently in the future. This kind of reflection can lead to greater emotional intelligence and better decision-making. Daily reflections also serve a critical role in assessing whether your actions align with the person you want to be. It's a way to check in with yourself and ensure that you're living according to your values and goals. For instance, if you value kindness but recall being impatient with a colleague, this reflection gives you the opportunity to recognize that and make a conscious effort to be more patient next time. This practice of reviewing your day is not just about identifying mistakes or areas for improvement. It's also about celebrating your successes and acknowledging the things you did well. This positive reinforcement can boost your confidence and motivation. It's important to give yourself credit for the progress you make, no matter how small it might seem. Incorporating this type of daily review into your evening routine can be incredibly beneficial. It helps you wind down from the day, clear your mind, and prepare for a restful night's sleep. It can also serve as a chance to catch up on your journaling, if you weren't able to do it in the morning. Writing down your reflections can deepen your understanding and make the insights you gain more tangible. The stoic practice of reviewing your day is a powerful tool for personal growth. It helps you stay aligned with your values, improve your actions, and build a deeper sense of self-awareness. By taking a few minutes each evening to reflect on your day, you can cultivate a mindset of continuous improvement and resilience, just as Marcus Aurelius did. Marcus Aurelius once said, mastery of reading and writing requires a master, still more so, life. In Stoic philosophy, the concept of a sage is central. A sage is someone who embodies wisdom, judgment, and expertise, and is revered for these qualities. For Marcus, his sage was Zeno, the founder of Stoicism. He would often ask himself, what would Zeno do? This practice of contemplating a personal sage can be incredibly powerful in guiding our own actions and decisions. In our modern lives, we can adopt this stoic practice by identifying a role model who embodies the virtues and qualities we aspire to have. Your personal sage could be someone you know personally, a historical figure, or even an idealized concept of the person you want to become. The key is to have a clear definition of this person so that you can reflect on their qualities and actions as a guide for your own life. Incorporating this practice into your evening routine can bring a profound sense of purpose and direction. As you wind down for the night, take a few moments to think about your personal sage. Reflect on their characteristics, virtues, and how they handle challenges. Ask yourself, did I act as my role model would today? In what ways did I embody their qualities? Where did I fall short and how can I improve tomorrow? This exercise isn't just about idealizing someone else. 
It's about using their example to elevate your own behavior and decisions. Marcus Aurelius found great value in considering what Zeno would do because it provided a clear, virtuous benchmark against which he could measure his actions. Similarly, when we contemplate our sages, we create a mental framework that helps us navigate our lives with greater wisdom and integrity. Think about the traits that your personal sage exemplifies. Are they patient, kind, courageous, disciplined, or wise? These traits should resonate with you on a deep level. For instance, if your sage is someone known for their kindness and empathy, reflect on moments in your day where you could have been more compassionate. If your sage is admired for their discipline and perseverance, think about areas where you might need to develop more self-discipline Contemplating your sage helps you maintain a sense of accountability to your highest ideals. It's a way to keep yourself aligned with the person you truly want to be. This practice can be particularly helpful in moments of stress or decision-making. When faced with a difficult choice, asking yourself what your sage would do can provide clarity and a sense of moral direction. Moreover, this practice is not just about looking at your actions in hindsight, but also about setting intentions for the future. As you think about your sage each evening, you can plan for the next day with these qualities in mind. For example, if you know you'll face a challenging meeting at work, consider how your sage would approach it. This forward-thinking mindset can help you prepare mentally and emotionally to act in a way that aligns with your highest values. The beauty of this stoic practice lies in its simplicity and profound impact. By regularly contemplating your personal sage, you build a habit of self-improvement that is anchored in the wisdom of those you admire. It transforms abstract virtues into concrete actions, making it easier to live a life of integrity and purpose. Marcus Aurelius advises us to contemplate life from the point of view of the cosmos, or as he often referred to it, to take a view from above. This stoic exercise is about gaining perspective by seeing our lives in the grand scheme of things, a practice that can bring immense clarity and peace. Imagine the power of looking at your day, your challenges, and your worries from a bird's eye view, detached from the immediate emotional turmoil. This broader perspective helps to reduce the significance of our problems and puts everything into a more manageable context. In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with noise, advertisements, news, social media, and the relentless hustle of daily life. Our attention is perpetually diverted to external stimuli, making it difficult to find a moment of peace and reflection. This mental clutter can lead to what is known as mental burnout, a state where it feels like there's no room left to think, breathe, or process our thoughts. This is where the stoic practice of taking a view from above becomes incredibly valuable. By practicing this perspective shift in the evenings, we can create a mental space to see our lives more objectively. Start by finding a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and begin to imagine yourself zooming out from your immediate surroundings. Picture yourself in your room, then gradually expand your view to include your entire home. Consider the people who share this space with you and think about their experiences, emotions, and challenges. Next, zoom out further to view your entire neighborhood. Reflect on the fact that each person in your community has their own story, their own set of worries and dreams. Continue this process, expanding your perspective to your city, your country, and eventually the entire planet. Think about the billions of lives unfolding across different cultures, languages, and environments. Each person, just like you, has a unique story filled with hopes, fears, joys, and struggles. Keep zooming out to encompass the solar system, the galaxy, and the vast expanse of the universe. As you do this, your own problems and concerns start to feel smaller and less overwhelming. The vastness of space and the enormity of existence can be humbling, reminding us that our worries, no matter how significant they may seem, are just a small part of a much larger picture. This isn't about diminishing your experiences, but rather about putting them into perspective. 
when we take a view from above, we begin to see ourselves not as isolated individuals, but as interconnected parts of a greater whole. This broader perspective helps us to detach from the immediate emotional impact of our problems and see them more clearly. We can recognize that many of the things that cause us stress and anxiety are temporary and often insignificant in the grand scheme of things. For example, consider a conflict at work or a disagreement with a friend. From a close-up perspective, these issues can feel all-consuming. But when you view them from above, you realize that these are just small moments in your life and they don't define your entire existence. This shift in perspective can make it easier to approach problems with a calm and rational mindset, finding solutions instead of being overwhelmed by emotions. Moreover, this practice helps us develop empathy and understanding. By considering the broader context of other people's lives, we can better appreciate their struggles and viewpoints. This can lead to more compassionate and effective interactions with others as we understand that everyone is dealing with their own challenges. Taking a view from above is also a powerful tool for managing stress and anxiety. When you feel overwhelmed, taking a few minutes to zoom out and view your situation from a higher perspective can provide immediate relief. It helps you to see the bigger picture and remind yourself that you have the strength and resilience to overcome whatever challenges you face. Incorporating this stoic practice into your evening routine can be a transformative way to end your day. It helps you to let go of the day's stresses and prepare for a restful night's sleep with a clear and peaceful mind. By regularly practicing taking a view from above, you can cultivate a more balanced and resilient mindset, ready to face whatever life throws your way. So as you wind down each evening, take a few moments to step back and view your life from above. Let the vastness of the universe remind you of the bigger picture and let this perspective bring you peace and clarity. It's a simple yet profound way to anchor yourself in the wisdom of stoicism and navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius tells us, the longest lived and those who will die soonest lose the same thing. The present is all that they can give up, since that is all you have, and what you do not have you cannot lose. This quote underscores the preciousness of the present moment, a theme central to Stoic philosophy. One of the most profound ways to honor the present is by spending quality time with our families. Despite his immense responsibilities and pressures as an emperor, Marcus Aurelius cherished his family deeply. He made it a point to be present with them, tucking his children into bed each night and saying to himself, don't rush this. This might be the last time you do this. It's not guaranteed that either of you will make it through the night. This practice of valuing and savoring each moment with loved ones is something we can all learn from. In today's fast-paced world, it can be challenging to carve out meaningful time for our families. The demands of work, social obligations, and the omnipresence of technology often leave us feeling like there's no time left at the end of the day. However, just as Marcus Aurelius found ways to connect with his loved ones despite his busy schedule, we too can prioritize family time in our evenings. Spending time with family is not just about being physically present, but also about being emotionally and mentally engaged. It's about putting away distractions like phones and laptops and focusing on the people who matter most. Simple activities like having dinner together, playing a board game, or even just talking about each other's day can significantly strengthen the bonds within a family. These moments create memories and a sense of belonging that can't be replaced by any amount of screen time. Stoicism teaches us to contemplate the impermanence of life, a practice that can help us appreciate the time we have with our loved ones even more. Nurse Bronnie Ware, who worked with terminally ill patients, found that one of the most common regrets of the dying is that they wish they had spent more time with their families. Her patients often lamented missing out on their children's youth and their partner's companionship due to the demands of their careers and other obligations. This insight is a powerful reminder to regularly contemplate our mortality, as the Stoics did. By acknowledging that our time with family is limited, 
we can start to make more intentional choices about how we spend our evenings. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media or getting lost in TV shows, we can choose to engage in activities that foster connection and togetherness. These moments of presence and connection are what truly enrich our lives and the lives of our loved ones. Families today often spend little more than half an hour of quality time together during the week. Even when they do come together, many families find themselves silently watching TV or engaging in other activities that don't promote real interaction. By making a conscious effort to create meaningful family time, we can break this cycle and build stronger, more fulfilling relationships. Consider incorporating simple yet meaningful traditions into your evening routine. This could be as straightforward as having a technology-free dinner where everyone shares highlights and challenges from their day, or it could be a weekly family game night where laughter and friendly competition create lasting memories. These practices help create a sense of ritual and anticipation that everyone can look forward to. Additionally, expressing gratitude and appreciation can deepen your family connections. Taking a few moments each evening to tell your family members what you appreciate about them can foster a positive and supportive environment. These expressions of gratitude don't have to be grand gestures. Even small acknowledgements can make a big difference in how connected and valued everyone feels. Spending quality time with family also instills important values in children. It teaches them about the importance of relationships, empathy, and communication. They learn from observing how you interact, listen, and care for each other. This modeling of positive behavior helps them develop into well-rounded and emotionally intelligent individuals. Incorporating stoic principles into your family time can also be beneficial. Discussing the concepts of gratitude, mindfulness, and the impermanence of life with your family can provide valuable life lessons and foster deeper connections. For example, you can share stories from Stoic philosophy that highlight the importance of living in the moment and appreciating what you have. Marcus Aurelius says, in your actions, don't procrastinate. This wise advice is especially relevant when it comes to preparing for the day ahead. One of the most effective ways to set yourself up for success is to prepare for your morning the night before. Marcus Aurelius strongly advocated for waking up early and making the most of every living moment. However, he also understood that a productive morning starts with the actions you take the previous evening. Incorporating the stoic principle into your routine can transform your mornings from a rushed scramble into a smooth and focused start to your day. Begin by setting aside a few minutes each evening to prepare for the next day. This simple practice can significantly reduce morning stress and make your day more efficient and enjoyable. One practical step is to lay out your clothes for the next day. Choosing your outfit the night before eliminates one decision you have to make in the morning, saving you time and mental energy. It might seem like a small task, but it can make a big difference in how smoothly your morning runs. Similarly, packing your bag or briefcase with everything you need for the day, such as work materials, lunch, or gym clothes, can prevent last-minute rushes and forgotten items. Another essential part of preparing for your morning is creating a to-do list for the next day. Take a few moments to jot down your top priorities and any appointments or meetings you have scheduled. This helps you start the day with a clear plan and ensures that you're focused on what matters most. The act of writing down your tasks can also help clear your mind, making it easier to relax and fall asleep. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-discipline and intentionality. By preparing for your morning the night before, you're practicing these stoic virtues. You're taking proactive steps to shape your day rather than reacting to whatever comes your way. This sense of control and preparedness can boost your confidence and reduce anxiety about the day ahead. In addition to these practical steps, consider incorporating reflective practices into your evening routine. Spend a few minutes reflecting on the day that's just ended. What did you accomplish? What challenges did you face and how did you handle them? This reflection not only helps you learn and grow, but also provides closure to the day 
allowing you to let go of any lingering stress or frustration. Preparing for your morning also involves setting yourself up for a good night's sleep. Ensure that you go to bed at a reasonable time to get the recommended six to eight hours of sleep. Sleep is crucial for your overall health and well-being, and it's essential for waking up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Create a bedtime routine that helps you wind down, such as reading a book, taking a warm bath, or practicing relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation. The Stoics believed in the power of routine and discipline. Marcus Aurelius, for example, had a structured approach to his days, balancing his duties as an emperor with his personal philosophical practices. By establishing a consistent evening routine that includes preparing for the next day, you're aligning yourself with these stoic principles. You're creating a foundation of stability and order that can help you navigate the uncertainties and challenges of daily life. Additionally, consider setting your intentions for the next day. This involves more than just planning tasks. It's about deciding how you want to approach the day mentally and emotionally. For instance, you might set an intention to stay calm and patient during a busy day, or to be more present and mindful in your interactions. These intentions can serve as guiding principles that help you stay focused on your values and goals. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By embracing these stoic practices in your evening routine, you're setting the foundation for a more peaceful, purposeful, and fulfilling life. Remember, each small step you take towards stillness and reflection brings you closer to the wisdom and tranquility that Stoicism offers. Thank you for being a part of Stoic Journal. If you found value in this video, be sure to watch one of the suggested videos on the screen for more insights into Stoic philosophy and practical wisdom. Your journey to a more serene and intentional life continues with us. Thanks for watching, and we appreciate your commitment to growth and self-improvement.